you how to uh pretty basic it's not a big deal it's just a video a quick video on how to um download download windows right so what we're gonna do this is a macintosh as you can see here we have the finder um we have the finder and we have also the uh, that little apple logo over here so if you have a mac then it should be a dmg file a dmg file you might be asking yourself this is just a quick sample of what is a dmg file dmg file is different from the exe which at the exe is a windows so if we go to my old desktop yeah i know i have some some ugly stuff here um let's see this one you see this is uh this is um an exe exe dot exe over here um i don't know if you guys can see it um but yes the exe what it does is the um what it does is that that's for windows that's for windows uh windows if you guys know windows um uh, i can actually let you know what is windows obviously everyone knows but not many people know so this is windows for you guys okay and then we have also mac which is the one that i'm using right now and just to make it simple that's how it will look if it's mac if it's a mac um what you will look at will be under DMG file. A DMG file is total different uh, from EXE, which is Windows. That's the executable for for Mac or for Apple. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually open the document, uh, which is you know for for that's a DMG. That's a dot dmg. It's not dot exe. If it's a exe dot exe, then that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and move on. All right. Okay. So um, if you guys are looking for iTunes, I suggest going to apple.com. If you have, uh, sorry about that. Click on Google or go on the URL and press apple.com. Okay, so once you're inside, um, you will see here support. So you're gonna look for search also. Let's go ahead and try search. So we click there and we're gonna look for iTunes, okay? So we're gonna look for iTunes download. And once you're in there, it's gonna ask you, do you want iTunes 12.4.1 for your Mac OS X? This this is for Mac, for Macintosh. This is not for Windows. So if you download this, it's not gonna it's not gonna function for Windows. But if you have Windows, as we were talking about, um, you know, the little Windows logo or whatever, this one, you guys have that one. Um, you can actually get that for under the Windows requirement. So uh, Windows requirements tell you that either it has to have, uh, damn it, my apologies guys, just trying to do everything fast here, uh, software, right? Sorry about the time, yeah, I know, 4.46 a.m. Um, it's Windows 7 or later. So it has to be Windows 7 or later. It can be Windows 8.1, Windows 10, okay? So um, what you're gonna need is that you're gonna click here under itunes.com download, okay? So it's gonna open, but it should say here, instead of uh, itunes for OS X, it should say for Windows. So you click on get itunes for Windows. It was below. So, uh, you click here, there it is. You go all the way up and it 
Princess iTunes for 12.4.1 win for Windows 7 or later. So if you want to get updates and you want to be offered all that information from iTunes, uh, you can click there. If you don't want it, then no. And if you want to be updated with a software installment, you can click there. If you don't want it, then you can unclick it. But I prefer to leave it as this because you need the updates. Okay, this will give you a computer install uh, stability. So it will give you the performance and stability on the software. So you click on download now. So it will go to your Windows, um, to your downloads, right? So it's going to say thank you for downloading Windows, blah, 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 blah. And you can use uh, Beats 1, streaming, whatever. And you can check all the information there. You can actually go to the iTunes store. And you can go on to under movies, okay? And then it should be under your download section or whatever directory you were actually downloading it. And there it is. So as you can see, um, it's right here, the iTunes setup guide. So here it is. All you have to do is just double click it, okay? So one, two, not just one, but two mm -hmm. times. The screen should go black or dark in the background, and a little window should appear, and it would say yes or no. So you, pl you press yes or you click yes, and it, it should execute the system, okay? And that should be it. And once you actually executed uh, Windows, um, iTunes on Windows, or on Mac, or whatever it is, it should look like this, okay? It should come out like this. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna click there. Okay. Okay, it should open. So uh, once we're here at iTunes, um, you don't have a clue what to do, right? But this is where you can actually uh, put your phone and you can actually save your information from your phone. You can actually save your pictures. You can save everything from your phone into the hard drive of your computer, little things like for you or whatever. But um, I really, I really don't don't use any of this. I just listen to my music and down uh, buy CDs and then export them or, you know, just download them um, under other different websites. Um, could be um, SoundCloud, SoundCloud.com other places like that. Um, there's pretty good ones too, soundcloud.com. <laughs> Sorry about that. So uh, you can watch this, you know, SoundCloud or whatever. You can listen to music here. Um, that's me, by the way. Um, and yeah, I have my account here. It's pretty cool. You can listen to music and for free on the internet. Um, you can even download them. Um, it, you can go to Beatport and buy them, um, and you can download them for free. I need to listen to this one, Night of the Black. Amazing DJ, Tom Flynn. One of my favorite guys. But yes, um, you can do that, so um, there shouldn't be any problems with it. And I will show you later how to transfer your music or your information to your iPhone, okay? So stay tuned.